I just want this life to be a male man. See this case? Throwing male inside of all this. Every day you come in, you throw male inside this shit. Like throw some mail in there. Got the addresses, you feel me? We just got the news. Two vacant routes. I mean, about another hour coming my way. That make it three hours of overtime. I don't know how much longer I can last. <laughs> What's up, y'all? So we back at it. Got the mail and the DPS, flats and residuals, bag. Uh, so today, they decided to send me away to Parma. So I gotta carry five hours here at my station. Then once I'm done with that, I got four hours at another station. Now that's nine hours of carrying mail. Started at nine o'clock. You had on those two hours that you were inside the station, really one and a half over for the simple math. That's 11 hours, plus the travel time. That's 11 and a half hours that I'm here for the day. So let me know if you think that's worth it, it's working here. <laughs> Y'all, I think today really might be my last day. Um, I think I might deliver this mail for my station. And then for those four hours of overtime, I'm just go home. And they gonna call the manager and be like, yeah, your CCA didn't show up. She gonna call me. Like, yeah, I quit. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Five hours here. A full route is six hours. All she did was take away one hour off of my route and then gave me four hours somewhere else. So really, it's five hours, five hours because you got to drive there. You got to get all your tools and stuff again. You got to put back the tools you got now. Then you got to load up the truck. Then if you don't know the neighborhood that you in, it's going to automatically take you extra 30 minutes because you don't know how to drive straight there without pulling out your GPS. That stuff takes seconds, but those seconds add up to minutes. Look, seriously consider, the check is good. I'm not going to lie, the check is good. Hold on, I'm on these, port these people porch talking to y'all and shit. said the check is good that's literally the only reason why i would stay here if i thought my time was worth this amount of money but my time is worth more than this my time is worth more than 20 dollars an hour or 18 like if you got a family to feed and you really you really need this money you know what i'm saying this would be great for you this would be great for you. But if you're doing this, you know what I'm saying? You my age, 21, and you can push through, get it. But me, they treat you like this is modern slavery. They think they can just tell you, push you around, not push you around. Let me start over. They think they can just work you without you saying no to me because hold on I got a lot of mail because when you got a family to feed come on hold on See that the mail ain't going in there. <laughs> Whatever. Sorry. Maybe uh, this door open. Nope. I'm not. So that way, at least the mail doesn't get wet. Let me try one more thing. Try to take it off. It look like it's about to rain. So yeah, like I said, um, I think today really gonna be my last day. 
I think what I'll do is um apply to Amazon. At least with that job, I know. I think Amazon, you work four days a week with 10 hour shifts. Oh, look, there go the bird. So y'all don't think I'm crazy. Oh, you can't see it. Oh, that motherfucker left. As soon as I fucking, bro, that's how it be in the movies. You be trying to prove something to somebody. Then you put the camera on it. You should be gone. <laughs> but nah, for real, Amazon, you got 10 hour shifts. But four days a week. Shit, at least I know. When I come in, at least I know that I got 10 hours that day. And I'm only there for four days a week. This job, you working six days a week. Until you make regular. Then you get two days off. But that's after two years. After they already treated you like shit for two years. <laughs> See what I'm saying? And then, when you're a regular... They always calling you on your own day off, asking you to come in. Like, what? And sometimes, you know, you want to help out your teammates, your people on your station. So you come into work. Oh, there it go again. Look. Fuck this in. See it? Look. Yeah. Falcon, baby. Yeah. I prove to y'all that I'm not crazy. That motherfucker be following me, bro. You want to come in for your team because you don't want them to have heli overtime. You know what I'm saying? If you can make it easier on them, you know, you can do it. Um, good things about this job. I mentioned the good things, too. I want to just put it down. Good things. Once you out on the street, you by yourself. You know what I'm saying? You by yourself. You can listen to your music. Like, see, I got my headphones in. Well, technically, you're not supposed to, but... You can listen to your music. Talk on the phone with your people. You know what I'm saying? You got somebody that's also a mill carrier. Hold on, I got a lot of magazines. Oh, no, my phone. That is. Oh, my bad. I dropped my phone. That bitch stopped recording. But, um. Yeah, you can talk on the phone with your friends. Like, when you can do that, the day be smooth, you know? But remember, you walking in the rain, snow, the heat, all that stuff is mental. You can get past that, you good. But it's gonna challenge you. That's all I'm gonna say, man. Good luck to anybody that picked this career. You know, you get benefits. But to somebody my age, shit, that ain't important right now. I'm trying to get wealthy. I can't get wealthy doing this shit. It's gonna take me at least two years, two, three years. Say, you know what? I'm not even gonna get into that, man. I'ma just show y'all the truck so y'all can see what that look like. And see what y'all are gonna do. Okay, so. Here it goes. As you see, uh, it's not, it's, it's a lot of mail today for my station. I'm in the hood, so. We don't get that much mail, so this is a lot. But, um, shit, hopefully I ain't give out nobody address. I'm gonna have to, hold on, stop. So this is my truck. I'm gonna do a quick swipe because I don't wanna give away nobody address. You feel me? So that's what it looked like. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Don't go back and pause it trying to read people's address and shit. Um, this it's a decent amount. This is what the inside LLV look like. Once again, more mail. I can't put it on there for too long because I don't want to give away nobody's address. You know what I'm saying? You got a fan in here. No AC. You got heat. Hand roll down window. Like I said, man, you got kids, you got to feed. It's not a bad job overall. The only thing that fucking sucks is coming here and you got three hours overtime, two hours overtime every single day. That shit is draining. 
I don't care how healthy you are. That shit is draining. And, you know, when you got kids and family, you just got to put up with it. Lucky for me, I ain't got no kids. <laughs> so, you know, that that gives me an opportunity to just to walk away. You know what I'm saying? I, like J. Cole's song said, what's more important, getting or letting go? I think that's... Oops, let me put on my seatbelt. Feel me? Yeah, I got the job. <laughs> Now it's time to let it go. <laughs> oh yeah, one more thing while I'm thinking about it. I'm gonna tell y'all, explain what the morning is like when you come into the post office. Cause I know some people are gonna watch this that think about working there. You come in, swipe your card in, go to your little station that I put in the beginning of the video. You go get your flats, which is um like these like these you know like magazines and shit sort them out into each address some days you might have a lot some days you might not some days you might have a little bit if you in the hood you gonna have a little bit if you in the suburbs you got a lot same thing for packages you in the hood you might have a little bit of packages that day if you in the suburbs you got heavy packages especially if you in the upper suburbs you know what i'm saying a lot of packages um the walk in itself if you're a person that's in shape, the walking is not bad. You can handle it. Your legs are definitely going to hurt after the first couple of days, but you get used to it. Um, so that the walking is not bad. Like I said, this jog overall is not bad. I don't mind walking, delivering the mail. <laughs> the shit is cool. It's just the fucking overtime. They treat you like a fucking slave. Like today, I got five hours here. Then I got four hours somewhere else. Bye bye. I got distracted. Back to the back to the sort in the mail. Then you go get the letters in the hot case. The hot case is where the letters have been missorted. Or just mail from the day before that didn't make it to you. Um, then you go sort those, throw those in the box. Um, then after that, you better hope your DPS is at your station. The DPS is the all the letters that come pre-sorted. <laughs> You better hope that's at your station. <laughs> if it's at your station, good. You can get your packages. You better hope your packages are sorted out too by the time you get there. Then if they're not, you waiting another 30 minutes, 20 minutes for them to get done. Your, if your DPS ain't there, guess what? Your supervisor gonna be like, go leave without your DPS. We're just gonna call you when it's done. So that means you going out to the street, start delivering. Then when they send you a message on your little scanner, I mean, come back and get it. <laughs> You can be out, usually you don't be out there for more than 30, 45 minutes by the time they get there. Usually, it only, usually, you know, I only been here for a couple of months. Um, and you come back, get your DPS. Um, then you load up your truck. You sort your packages out into totes. There's like, usually you have six totes. That's at least for me, my station. Sort of make, and you scan it in the load tool. It says section one, section two. It tell you what section it is. It's easy. So it's a matching game, feel me? Um, then you sort them like by the street numbers into like another beam like this. Sort them, like here go my packages right here. I'm gonna cover the numbers. But here go my packages right there, you feel me? I sorted them out for this street. So that way it'll be easy. Um, then you go to the street and deliver the mail. My customers, my customers are great. I got good customers. Um, they always had me water, snacks, juice. Once again, a good part of this job. You feel me? This job, they just got to get it together. This, this And then, look, I'm quitting. <laughs> so guess what? That means more time for the people at my station. I'm sorry, y'all. I mess with y'all. Y'all cool people. But I got to slide. <laughs> um, so I hope that was a good description for y'all. Um, you're usually caring about, uh, for your route, is about six hours worth of mail. You might 615, 630, my, my route is six hours. Um, you get a 30 minute break, two 10 minute lunches. Sometimes you're not even gonna get that 30 minute break or the two 10 minute breaks. And they still take it out your check. <laughs> Ain't that some shit. <laughs> Let me get up out this truck, man. <laughs> shit, fuck it, I don't give a fuck. This is my last thing anyway. <laughs> Watch me fuck around and not even leave. Uh, I'll come back with this. 
like I said, once again, man, job itself, job itself is cool. They just got to get it together. For real. And it's our side. I mean, people are going to keep quitting because they tired of all this tough ass work. All these hours. I go home. I am go home. I'm so tired. I can't even do what I want to do for my own life, my personal life. I look. I make music. I go home. My brain's so dead. I can't make music. I'm so sleepy that when I meditate, I fall asleep. <laughs> I mean, even though it's good to fall asleep when you meditate, and sometimes, sometimes you want to be able to wake up and remember those things that you got connected with while you were meditating. Shit, crazy. All right, now, let me get back to work. So, I told my mom I'm about to leave. She said. Don't just quit, son. She said, put in your two weeks. She said, you're older now. So you should handle it the right way. Don't just walk out. Give them a two weeks notice because you never know when you gotta come back. When you gotta come back to this job. It's crazy how you can have a dream so big. And like, no one else can see it but you. You know what I mean? No one else. Which is completely understandable. All those years. Uh, all those years, you know, brainwashing the government do. <laughs> You think the government want to teach you? <laughs> you think they want you to be smart? Okay. <laughs> but that's okay. That's why I'm here. To prove people wrong. I don't even want to prove them wrong, really. I just, I don't want, I don't want to do this. I don't want to reach my goals. Well, I do want to reach my goals and stuff to prove everybody wrong. But that's not the main purpose. The main purpose is to inspire others to do what makes them happy. To do what, what that little voice inside your head is telling you to do. You know, that little voice inside your head that people told you to ignore when you were growing up. Not, not ignore, but, you know, put it aside. No. That's why I'm that's why I'm where I'm at now. Cause I trust myself. And I know things take time. Which is why I'm recording this video to show y'all the progress. United States Postal Service. But yeah, that's all. Talk to y'all in a few. Uh, what's up, y'all? So I'm on my way to the next station. This is all in one day. Today was a crazy ass day. I'm headed to the next station. Pick up another four hours. It's about three o'clock right now. By the time I get on the street, it's gonna be out 3 30, 3 45. So we'll just count from four. I should be getting off at about eight o'clock. I told my supervisor. That I would be leaving. I'm putting in my two weeks. He was like, oh, what happened? I'm like, man, y'all be tripping. Y'all got a nigga working till 7 o'clock every day. Like, the fuck? I, I don't need to be working till 7 o'clock every day, bruh. <laughs> like, thank you, God, for my blessing that, you know, that money was coming in like that. But, shit. I, you get three hours to yourself every day. You get off at seven. Let's say you get off at seven, right? You going to sleep by 10, 10, 30 because you got work the next morning. So that's eight o'clock, nine o'clock, 10 o'clock. That's if you can go home straight after work. You know what I'm saying? That's three hours you get to yourself. Then those three hours, not even to yourself. If you got family that you live with, kids, dogs, pets, you know what I'm saying? I come home from work. 
First thing I gotta do is walk my dog. You know what I'm saying? She been at home all day. I can't, that's not fair to her for me to just come home and just lay down. You know what I'm saying? She don't know that I'm tired. That's not fair. Then my little cousins wanna mess around and shit for a little bit. That's already 45 minutes to an hour gone. Now I wanna create music. I wanna learn, I wanna work on my own business. I can't even work on my own business because my brain mentally, I'm mentally drained for that. I'm drained. I can't. See what I'm saying? I mean, you you got that energy. You might be able to push yourself. That shit is tough, man. So, you know, life is all about that balance between your work life and your family. Finding that balance. This job ain't giving it to me. <laughs> so I gotta say goodbye to it. It is what it is. It's a lesson. It's a lesson. This lesson was money ain't important than my per more important than my personal time.